We're going to talk about rough sleeping now for the next few minutes as we were invited along to spend some time with the Leeds Street Support Team. This is a group of specialised organisations working together to tackle the complex issues around homelessness. Temperatures have plummeted, which means there are heightened concerns for people who find themselves sleeping rough. To get a better understanding of the issues around homelessness, we spent time with some of the organisations who make up the Leeds Street Support Team to hear their story and see the work they do. So they go out and they um, find people who are bedded down and rough sleeping across Leeds, so the city centre and out. We then, once we know who that person is, we're then able to have a look at a package of support which is unique to each individual who we find and then help those agencies understand what that individual needs and we try to piece together a journey for them that supports them, that's done at a time that they need and ultimately leads that person into full-time accommodation where they feel supported and they feel the feel what we, me and you may call normal, um, that, that's the whole hope of street support. What we do is we identify people, we engage them, <laughs> we work with them to try and find solutions to their particular problem with the intention to introduce them into settled accommodation so we can start looking towards recovery for the future. To help rough sleepers connect with the right support services, members of the public can use something called Streetlink. This is an organisation that can be informed that someone is sleeping rough via phone, website or through an app, which enables them to begin the process of getting that person the support they need. In Leeds, St George's Crypt and St Anne's Resource Centre are just two of the places here to offer a helping hand. St George's Crypt to an emergency accommodation. We are commissioned by the council. The council refer people in who are facing homelessness and then we look at giving them a bed space, giving them food, just an emergency accommodation, the basic kind of needs to life. Look at signposting them into the other agencies that they need help with and then hopefully get them moved on successfully when the time is right for them. We work largely with donations, so it's all about trying to work with what we can and provide what we can. Today you're at the St Andrew's Resource Centre, it's a homeless day centre. We provide them with a breakfast every morning, Monday to Friday, um, showers, laundry facilities, we signpost um, anybody to any agency that may be able to help them more than we can. Um, and yeah, we just try and make their day as easy as we can for them by offering the essentials really, or the bare essentials. There are a number of charities who are out there who are really helping us support people who are rough sleeping. They're not necessarily the ones who are giving out the food on a daily basis. It's not necessarily giving someone a sleeping bag, it's giving someone a helping hand into accommodation. Um, we love that people want to support rough sleepers, we just want to make sure that's done in a really healthy way.